Okay, this. This is what I did last week and the week before that. And this week, I'll be doing this. Also, I kind of got a new happy mug. It was sort of free. It was either buy this lamp and pay for postage or buy this lamp and buy a mug with it and get free postage. So I got a mug. I could tell you that I am so close to finishing this guest house renovation, but honestly, I've been seeing this for months and I really have no idea when this tiny house will be finished. After a week of warm spring weather, it turned wet and cold again and suddenly working in a guest house felt like such a burden. Luckily, things turned at the end of the week and my motivation came back instantly. But the finishing of the guest house is only the first step to everything I hope to work on this summer. There's the garden, a terrace around the house, a new fireplace, the exterior which needs painting and of course the house itself. Which I'll be able to continue working on once I've moved myself into the guest house. I feel like I may be hoping for a bit much but... I'll just try and remain flexible and focus on the tasks at hand. And for now, that means continuing to fit the ceiling board by board.
So why finish the ceiling when you can make a dress? This is how I make my clothes. I've never bought any ready-made patterns, but I have these block patterns. I use them as a basis for your for the garment that you want to make. I am going to make this very simple grey long t-shirt dress with a couple of buttons at the front. I'm actually using the one that is for a blazer so it's got lots of darts in it because obviously it's very fitted but I transferred them onto this wrapping paper. <laughs> I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to play with the pattern so I can take out all of the darts so it's just a plain a plain dress and then on the fabric I will make it longer because I've only I've only transferred like the upper body and then I'll, I'll just make it really long as wide as possible on the fabric. Because it's just going to be a t-shirt dress I don't want the darts here and here so because this is going to be wide anyways essentially from the bottom of the arm down it's just going to be a white dress so i'm going to make a cut here and here and get rid of these darts okay now we can change the darts and put them in a different position close this off at the top Now we have the front and the back. It took me a while to get this flat on the table. <laughs> it's very warped. Let's see how this fits. Okay, the back side is going against the folded sides. widest and longest I managed to get it. I have a new jigsaw and I am going back to finishing the sink. jigsaw is definitely better than the one I had. The only downside is that it's wired. I might have the funnest leftover piece ever. How cute! I could turn it into like a little, you know, raised coffee station or maybe like a, a little table against the wall.
So I think people tend to glue this down here, but I haven't quite figured out what to get yet. <gasps> Finally, this curve is really nice as well. Happy days. Okay, one sec. Spoiler. I have a light. I have two lights. This is one of them. This is the one that's gonna go in this little area for like the sink. But I, I have a predicament. Somewhere, somewhere here, I'll have this light hanging. I don't know how to attach it to anything. It's only got this. It's just thread, it's just a wire with this. It doesn't have a ceiling plate. So I don't know whether I can fix it directly to one of these things or if I need to buy something. So I always love a bit of brutalism. I need to cover that. I'm back to working on the ceiling. Honestly, the ceiling is pissing me off. I know that everybody thinks I'm very patient and calm, but what's really happening is that I'm slow and that I just simply have to deal with it. So this is me trying to deal with the fact that I'm slow at renovating. The most annoying thing is that my planner has been telling me that I've been two weeks from moving in for like the past months. I know I keep talking about this, but I genuinely thought that this week I was going to finish the ceiling until the day before yesterday, I realized I ran out of one of the materials I'm using for the ceiling and I had to go back into the city to pick that up. So I lost the day. Point of the story is that it looks like it's just gonna take even longer. When am I gonna move in here? I have no idea. Um, but yeah, meanwhile, working on the ceiling is really boring as well. So it's, at least the sun is back, it was raining before it's been raining most of this week so it's good this feels a lot nicer to be working in the sun so i'm gonna go and continue my little ceiling ceiling job
early to open this but the flooring in this guest house is awful I really don't like it and I kept going back and forth whether to get rugs to cover it or to buy new flooring even if it's just like cheap fake woods linoleum in the end I decided to just get a couple of rugs and cover <laughs> the existing flooring it seems like the easiest thing to do and probably the most cost effective. Now I don't like saying this but I went for the cheap carpets. I do really prefer to invest in something a little bit more worthwhile that's going to last longer but I simply don't have the funds to do that so we're going cheap and cheerful and I got two rugs. I don't know whether they're gonna go together all that well and one of them is really bold. <laughs> it could turn out to be a huge mistake. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna show you the plain one. This is actually turning out quite nice. So I was going to put the plain one in the front room. It's like a size old carpet. It's very basic, but actually looks nicer than I expected it to be. I thought these knots were going to be smaller, but I, I quite like it really rough like this. Okay, uh, the other one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, what did I want to... Okay, 